Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Tuition. It's been a long time to see you again. Actually, my laptop was crashed and I lost my data and not able to make any videos since then. But don't worry, I bought a new PC for making amazing content for you. From now, you will get HD videos, I will make high quality content, new topics and lot more. Anyway, in this lecture, I wanted to share you a beautiful VS Code theme setup which you are going to use in the future lectures. Many students ask me which theme I am using and which font I am using to make VS Code more attractive. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about how I set up the VS Code theme and make this theme more attractive. So as you can see, I just open the VS Code editor and I have two files here. First is index.html and second is style.css. If I open the index.html, I am going to have a simple HTML5 snippet and I already set up this theme. So I'm going to just show you which setting I'm using to make this code more beautiful. So as you can notice, I also have the style.css. So I'm going to just open the setting and show you which setting I'm using to make this code beautiful. So I'm going to click on this setting icon and click on these settings. You can also press Ctrl tilt operator to open the settings. Once you open this setting, you can see you have the user interface to change the setting of the Visual Studio Code editor. I'm going to use the JSON file of the setting and make some changes in it. So I'm going to just press Ctrl Shift P. This will just open this search box where we have this open setting JSON. If you're not able to see this option, just type open settings. Then you will see this open settings. Just click on it. This will just open the JSON file of these settings. When you change anything from this user interface, this will create a new value in this JSON. So instead of changing values in this user interface, I'm going to change values in this JSON file. So I'm going to just show you which setting I'm using to make this feature studio code more attractive. Now you can notice I just use color theme one dark pro. You can find this color theme in the extension tab right from here. Just click on it and search for one dark pro and install this theme and set up as your primary theme. Just out of that, you can notice I have icon themes. I'm going to use this extension to add icons before any file or any folder. I don't have this extension installed in my VS Code editor. That is why I'm going to have this error on this value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this extension tab and just search for material. When I search for it, you can notice I have few extensions here, but I just wanted to install this material icon theme extension in this VS Code editor. So I'm going to click on this install button and install this icon set in the VS Code editor. Now you can see the material icon theme extension is successfully installed. I'm going to save this extension for this theme. So I'm going to just click on this material icon theme. That's it. When you back to your explorer, you can notice you have this beautiful icon before your files. If you create a new folder, you can see if I create here assets, you can see I have this beautiful icon before this asset folder. Now, just start that, let me just move on and show you which font size I'm using for this Visual Studio Code editor. I'm using font size 18. If you want, you can choose your own font size as well. That's upon you. And for the font family, I'm using this Kerala font. You can find this font from the Google font website. Just open the Google font website and download and install this font in your local system. That's it. Just start that, I'm going to specify font width 400 and the zoom level is going to be 1. If you don't want to zoom this VS Code editor, then you can get rid of this property. Now just start that, I wanted to set up the bash as a terminal of this VS Code editor. So I'm going to just add here terminal.integrated.shell.windows and I'm going to specify the path of the bash.ex file to this property. So when I open the terminal, this will not open the CMD. Instead, this will open the bash shell. Let me show you. When I press Ctrl tilde and I'm going to have this bash shell here. I'm using bash shell because when you use it, you will find that bash shell is more easy than the CMD. So that is why I'm using bash here. Now just out of that, I'm going to have the integrated cursor style, which is line. Then just out of that, I'm going to specify the font family 
for this terminal. So I'm using here overpass mono for this terminal. This is very beautiful font which you can specify to this terminal. Now as you can see the VS Code settings is now ready. You can notice the VS Code is now looks more attractive. Before you exit from the VS Code, don't forget to save these settings and close it. You can get these settings from the link provided in the description. You can notice my VS Code is now completely ready. Now I can create more and more beautiful content for you with this beautiful VS Code theme. That's it. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section of this video. Don't forget to subscribe because upcoming videos will help you to learn many things. Don't forget to like this video, share it. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.